Okay, people, well, this is the real start of my uh, bio. And uh, rather than go right back to the beginning, we're going to start at a major time of my life in the early 80s when I first took the Atlantic City Casino seriously. So anyway, uh, the first place that I started off with Caesars, I got myself a credit line there. And uh, I, lost, I lost my first night out. And I lost more than I should have. And it taught me a lesson. I came back home. I reconstructed everything. I put it in my head. And let me tell you something. For the next six months, I didn't have a losing session. The worst, the worst I did was break even. And I was going every two weeks for a three-day stay. Every two weeks like clockwork. And uh, like I said, the worst I did was break even. And that was the beginning of a three-year romance of really gambling pretty big. I mean, I'm talking about uh, not gigantic. Don't get me wrong. I wasn't a whale, even though size-wise I might have been. But uh, we're talking about at the craps table, I could have a few thousand laid out. And I was pushing, pushing, pushing. There's times that I have eight, nine, ten grand on the table. And I really did very good. I mean, I had limos taking me back and forth. Uh, I had suites, the best of shows, the best in the restaurants, treated like a king. And all of a sudden, the realization came. And, oh, 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 let me put it this way. I made quite a bit of money. I, you know, not a fortune, not millions. I made, I made a lot of money. I'm not going to go into the amount. But anyway, all of a sudden, I realized it wasn't... Uh, it started getting boring. It was almost, it was tedious, don't get me wrong. A lot of hard work because you got to do it the right way. But I got bored. It actually became too easy to me. I was winning too consistently. And, uh, and, 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 and business, the biggest gamble of all is when you're in business for yourself. Uh, when you're starting a new venture. And this is something I had put on hold. And all of a sudden, I had this great desire with the money now that all of a sudden I had that I never had before to go into different businesses of my own. I wanted to do cable shows. I wanted to do this. I wanted to become an agent in Atlantic City, booking bands at the casino, start a big job. I mean daydreams. I was always a big daydreamer. Of course, the daydream always starts from just something small and build it into a world-class operation. <laughs> well, okay. This, this, like I said, this is the opening. We're going to cut it now. And the lore of business took me away from Atlantic City, and I had a lot of ups and downs. I'm a multitasker, and that's my problem. I did too many things at the same time, and we're going to really go into depth on that. So <laughs>